two trends, just a small three trends. Following this principle, I began with the simple idea of analyzing the trend of anti seizure medicine tested in patients' blood for epilepsy treatment optimization, which eventually went on to be co-authored by the Honorable Dean Madam, Madam Sanita Rawat of our institute. I humbly present to you this original article entitled Unveiling the Recent Trends, Therapeutic Drug Monitoring of anti epilepsy Drugs in Western India's Surgery Care Hospital, published in the PubMed Index Perspectives in Clinical Research Scientific Journal. To lay the background, I introduce the topic with the problem statement that the primary goal of epilepsy management is to completely eradicate the disease without causing much adverse effects. However, despite availability of options on anti seizure medicines and comprehensive therapeutic drug monitoring services to address the problem, we aim to conduct the study and analyze the time frame of therapeutic drug monitoring services of anti epileptic drugs in the surgery care hospital. And our first objective was to evaluate trend of anti epileptic drugs by comparing requisition for older anti epileptic drugs, namely phenytoin, valproate, hardamazepine, and phenobarbital, versus newer anti epileptic drugs, namely levitated, azepam, and lamotrigine. Our second objective was to compare patients on monotherapy or polytherapy, enumerate therapeutic areas, and adverse drug reactions occurring beside the drug level found to be within therapeutic level. Typical observational time trend analyses of therapeutic drug monitoring services. We retrospectively assessed CDM records of 122 patients receiving 448 anti seizure medicines over a three years period, that is from January 19, 2000 to December 2020. Outcome measures were inferentially evaluated using the C test, chi square test for trend, and a trend line was ported to establish trend. Follow with me to find the subgroup analysis of patients' demography revealing pediatric predominance comparison between older and newer anti-epileptic drugs show that the older anti-epileptic drugs collectively outnumber the newer ones with the difference being statistically significant. Patients receiving polytherapy outnumber the patients receiving monotherapy being statistically significant. The chi-square test for trend showed statistically significant favorism towards the trend of use of newer anti-epileptic drugs. A study is that it illuminates the evolving landscape of anti seizure medicine usage in Western India, aligning with global standards for epilepsy management. However, it is limited by its retrospective nature. But despite this, the study sets the groundwork for future multi-centered, prospective analyses to validate these trends and enhance their generalizability. Time trend analyses of anti-epileptic medications revealed a notable increase in the use of newer anti seizure medicines between 2019 and 2021. Overall, TDM requisitions for older drugs were more frequent compared to newer medications. Most patients with epilepsy were treated with multiple anti-epileptic drugs, achieving satisfactory seizure control with minimal adverse drug reactions documented at therapeutic plasma drug level. Scan the QR code for a gift. Thank you. You are the best.